This is a whistleblower's application to the city of Baltimore, and these are the cases. Case number 24C1000919. That was for Governor O'Malley on February the 28th, 2011. Illinois case 07C4988. That's the Illinois case where y'all got to return my video and give me back my property. And the last case is a Maryland case. This is Maryland and the United States. Because this is Occupy the Congress. This is about making my vote count because I'm an ex-felon and votes and ex-felons can count. It's about the United States Supreme Court, Chief Justice Roberts. This is the office of the General Counsel of the House of Representatives. The Congress is broken. That's Judge Souter. Because like I said, Judge Souter got this. That's Special Agent Richard McFeely of the FBI, 7142 Ambassador Road, Baltimore, Maryland. In care of Rod Rosenstein, Attorney General. So whistleblowers act about the prison industry. And that's Thomas Sander. That's my lawyer. Right next to the ACLU. And my lawyer didn't turn this information over. But that's Judge Souter. So you can go to Judge Souter and get everything that I'm talking about. That's certified mail. That's in my case file. And that's Corporal Barnes from the Baltimore County Detention Center Library. And... The CO, commanding officer, and Mr. O'Neill, the director. So you go get that. Like I said, this is a members only thing. It's the Creative Alliance. And I'm potty training politicians. That's Frank Marble. Like I said, Frank Marble got this information. This is Doug Gansler. Doug Gansler has this information. This is July of 2013. Like I said, this is a whistleblower's act. And I've been blowing the whistle for a long time. That's Adam Bendar from the Towson Patch, the North Baltimore Patch. Y'all been patching this up and not telling the truth because the patch been having all this. You will be able and able to Office of Health and Quality Care Investigator to investigate your complaint. You may wish to include your statement that Dr. Pasonio has the information in your file that would be relevant to your complaint. It's relative to my complaint. Like I said, Shorty. I'm open for the movie, dog. I was making a movie about y'all. That's Eric Holder, the Department of Corrections. Like I said, it was about the courts and the prison industry. That's Hillary Clinton, because I said I was going to give up my citizenship. That's the Department of Justice. Like I said, get in touch with the Department of Justice. That's parole and probation, because I had an interstate compact. So you can contact Judge Turnbull, Judge Boris, and Judge Bell. Because like I said, this is a Martin Luther King moment, and I'm going to occupy the court. The art of getting money in your prison industry. Legalized slavery. State of Maryland. Dwayne Davis versus the United States of America. State of Maryland. Civil rights. Public accommodations, y'all. You know what public accommodation means? I get the right to use your toilet. I get the right to use your water fountains. I get the right to access your courts. And if you're getting money in the federal courts, and you're getting money in the county buildings, and you're getting money from the federal courts in the prison industry, that means I got a right to access the court. I blew the whistle on y'all. And it's just that simple. And Chief Justice Roberts, I got you on videotape. Because like I said, I've been doing this for a while. The price of free speech in America is jail. President Obama, the system is broken. And you on my toilet. Costs money to go to jail. Ask Mary Washington. We're gonna audit the state that we're gonna audit the jail. And we're gonna audit and have the media held accountable. I gave the material to WJZ this morning. I gave it to WJZ. So we're gonna see what WJZ gonna do with the information. WJZ is in the middle of this. Ron Matz got this.